everybody, what is going on? It's Kujo Fools, and we are on Ark Ragnarok. So I want to explain a couple of things before we get started on today's video. Um, so for starters, I want to apologize that I haven't been uploading. I've been having some serious issues with scheduling and stuff going on, and I'll do an entire video on that, explaining what is going on in my life and whatnot. And uh, also, I apologize for not finishing Primitive Plus or Scorched Earth before Ragnarok released. Um, with the constant uh, date changes and release dates being held back or suspended, uh, I couldn't really figure out exactly when to do Primitive Plus or Scorched Earth recording. So it was a plan of mine to get at least Primitive Plus done before Ragnarok was launched on August 8th. And yeah, uh, that didn't work out too well. So I've been doing a lot of off-camera work on Ragnarok. Um, I built my house, which is this entire base back behind me. And I've been taming some dinos and stuff like that. I don't plan on doing a full series with Ragnarok. It's more just like going to play around, hang out, check out the new dinos, do some fun stuff. Um, something that's a little more entertaining than you guys just watching me build bases and tame dinos. So, yeah, that's what the plan is. So, um, another thing is, is like, I do have some things planned but if you guys do have any recommendations for Ragnarok please let me know in the comments below or you can use any of my social media which will be in the description of this video so yeah just let me know and I will be down to try anything out on Ark Ragnarok and uh yeah let's go ahead and get started so today I decided I would just give you guys a tour of my huge gigantic base I was going to do a speed bill of it but it's taken me about three days to do this so um, yeah, that wouldn't have worked out very well. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the front entrance, and we are actually here on the map. We are right next to the Redwoods and the Green Obelisk. I chose this area for a reason, for the simple fact that we'll be right next to the Green Obelisk. So if we wanted to fight the boss, we could totally do it. So, I don't have very many dinos, but I do have a couple in here. So... Uh, I actually just chained the majority of these guys today. I do have a Rex over here. I have some Hyenodons, a Frog, and then I've got two Griffins, and then up above I have two Argentavises. So we'll go ahead and just give you a base layout. So over here I decided to build a Taming Pen. Um, I was going to build one outside of my base, but I already felt like I took had taken up enough space so I plan on putting some ramps on the back and then just hurting whatever it is into the pin and taming it that way everything in here is on passive so it's not going to attack if they start attacking the structures and then over here is uh, my stable I do have a door over here I should probably show you I have only one horse in here right now <laughs> so yeah it's kind of pathetic but I'm still in the process of getting everything arranged to my fitting so that way like um, I have plenty of space for more horses uh, and whatnot. I might put my raptors in here too if I tame any of those. Um, so then I will show you upstairs, which is my home. It's where all, all the crafting and stuff happens. So I did decide to put it up high so that way I could look down and see what was going on outside if anything was attacking. So in here is the crafting area I do have some nice furniture going on I did spawn in one of the artifacts just for like decoration and I do have the Alpha Rex trophy already and yeah so this is the main room and then upstairs is my bedroom I do have an Alpha Wyvern uh, trophy as well got a map here's all my storage right now I do plan on building a vault but I will probably have to find somewhere else to put it because it'll be too big for this room and then I also have this uh, arc trophy. You get it for doing the ascension. So, and then out here is the balcony where I can overlook everything. And this area is actually really nice and flat, so it's perfect for building your first base or even a big base like this. And it's really nice. Uh, you can see everything that's going on. And a lot of dangerous dinos do spawn out here. Um, I've killed a couple allosauruses. I tamed my rex out here. A bunch of Arvin Argentavises. So if you do plan on building out here, just be prepared for that. And so this entire area has a large walkway that goes all the way around, except for right over there where the gate's at. So I can walk around and check everything out on the outskirts of the base. And then over here is kind of like my nursery slash 
pasture for all my dinos. I don't have very much over here too. I have two sheep. And then I did go and get two beehives. And then over here is planning to be the nursery or the hatchery. It's not very big, but I don't plan on breeding too many dinos all at once like I did in my Primitive Plus series. So there's plenty of space in here for one or two hatches or one or two birds. So yeah, it's pretty simple and pretty easy to use, hopefully. It was going to be a farm, but apparently you can't use irrigation pipes on running water. This isn't considered water. You can drink from it, but you can't put your irrigation pipes in it. Which, I don't understand. It seems really dumb, but hey, that's just me. So, I know this video is kind of short today, but I wanted to show you guys everything that's been going on over here. Um, I am level 104. Yeah, I have completely maxed out my character already. So, what happened was I was going to do the ascension, and it didn't work out very well. Um, and in fact, I failed, so I ended up using the cheat. So if you guys want me to, just let me know and I can show you guys how to use that cheat, what it is, and how to access it and what it does for you. It unlocks Ragnarok and the central map and then it gives you some cool skins. So um, I will show you, I can show you guys how to do that. And then um, in our next episode, we're probably going to... I just said I wasn't going to make this into a series. In our next... Um, in our next video of Ragnarok, we're probably going to explore the map a little bit more. I have explored some of it but not all of it. And I know there's some areas that are limited to us, so we're not able to go near them. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and try everything out and check out this entire map and see what it has to offer. So anyway, you guys, I know this was a really short video and I'm sorry, but I've got other things to do and I'll explain everything in my video that I'll be releasing very soon. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!